Weather Wars are still a thing and Scarlet and Violet still very strong, you know what they say, can't beat them, join them. And no, I will not be showcasing these giant mammoths on my team, rather, we will be showcasing Blossom. Can we make Blossom work in this video? We're definitely gonna try. Blossom is by no means good at all, but, and hear me out, we can make use of its chlorophyll, double our speed on the sun, and um, it does have some good coverage with Moonblast, uh, very useful for, um, what is it? Salamence with hair? Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. There we go. Uh, and I'm gonna run uh, Modest Nature, full investment in special attack, of course, with full investment in speed, a little bit of special defense. This thing is going to be Terra Fire. I'm running Growth and Giga Drain as well. So let's just see what happens. Blossom is going to pop off, though, I'm pretty sure. Naturally, my opponent is going to lead with their Glamora, so they can set up every entry hazard known to man, and I'm going to lead with Torkoal because my team is naked without the sun, I need to literally have the sun up to do anything and to make use of Blossom, so uh, I can't do anything here, because this fucking flower thing can just threaten me with earth power. So what better thing to do than to switch out into my Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, skinny forearm looking dinosaur thing, uh, Mocking Wake, my arm day. <laughs> I'll take neutral damage, or I will just literally be in the face of any stealth rocks or spikes that come my way. I'm gonna get the boost here, get my speed up, I am choice specs, and they do go for the stealth rocks, which is to be expected. Uh, I just did not want to lose Torkoal to Earth Power right off the bat. That would not have been ideal. I'm gonna just go for Hydra's team. It, it does get boosted under the sun. Yes, he does have Coquavel and Brook Bonnet sitting in the back, but Glamora is just such easy fodder once you get up your, uh, your entry hazards. I go for the Hydra Steam, and it's going to take out the Glamora one-shot, of course. Surprised there was no Focus Sash, but also at the same time, I have been seeing some Glamora run Heavy Duty Boots uh, now more than ever, so uh, kind of just down to personal preference. Uh, they are going to switch into Cresselia here, which is very smart. They can start stacking Calm Mines and threaten me with Moonblast, so I'm going to have to- Oh my gosh, that is a weird angle to see walking away from. Um, Mom? <laughs> so I'm gonna switch, uh, I'm gonna bring in Blossom here, I'm gonna start stacking my growths, uh, I do get the boosted under the sun, so as opposed to just getting plus one, I'll be getting plus two special attack. They go for Moonblast, and it does not that much, honestly, Blossom eats that up. Uh, its best stat is special defense, so not bad, I mean, it's base 100, so it's... It... Blossom's alright, I guess, it's not that good. Uh, but now they go for the Ice Beam, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I'm cooked, I'm gonna have to start this battle over or find someone else to make Blossom work, but I take that pretty nicely. And now is the, really the best time to Terrastalize here, just so I can take resisted hits from its Moonblast or Ice Beam, and I'm gonna have to get health back with, uh, with Giga Drain. So I go for the Terra Fire, which is gonna suck because there are rocks in the field, and if I do want to switch, I'm gonna be taking a ton more damage, but, uh, Nonetheless, we persist. I go for the Giga Drain, and oh my god, I one-shot a Cresselia. That doesn't happen, but it was a crit. It doesn't happen. I'm still gonna take it. Crit or not, crit's a part of the game. You can see me literally clipping this in the top left corner. I'm like, oh shit, I literally fucking one-shot at a Cresselia. Blossom's cracked. Um, it is. It is. Run Blossom more. Run me my money. Put some respect on Blossom's name. Okay, moving on. They go into Coquavel here. I'm gonna Moonblast because I have the coverage. Homegirl says Psych, and she's gonna use her Terrastalization here as well. And it's Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy. So neutral damage, not bad. Uh, Giga Drain would have been better. But it didn't know that, of course. Moonblast does a ton of damage. A ton of damage. It's gonna be a 2 KO. They go for the Aqua Step. I eat that up. I don't know how, but I did. I did run the calc, and I, it does only have a 25% chance to one-hit KO me when I'm Terra Fire, which I'm still surprised by. And I'm just gonna go for Giga Drain, get some health back, and Blossom has two KOs. Are we surprised? Yes, <laughs> we are. But the shist on this thing, I've taken out their Terra, I've taken out their tank. I don't have to worry about this Moxie Quaquavel anymore. Um, under the sun, I still outspeed the Coquable, even with the speed boost from Aqua Step, which is nutty. So, uh, let me cook. Let me cook. I don't know what I'm cooking, but clearly, clearly it's something good. Uh, they are going to now go into Skeleturge, which is 
absolutely something I was terrified by because I can't do anything here. Like, I literally cannot do anything. If it's unaware, which it most likely is, um, I just am not going to do any damage to it. So the best thing for me to do here now is just go for Terra Fire, uh, go for the Terra Blast because I am boosted under the sun and just hope I get some damage. Does a decent chunk. That's like 25%. That's not bad with the Life Orb. And it's just going to kill me off now with Torch Song. So I had a good run. I'm not going to lie. That's... I, I think I did a lot more than I thought I would with, with this thing. So is Blossom good by any means? Not necessarily. But in the right circumstances. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so now back to, back to the behemoths that are going to take over this match now. Uh, I'm going to go into my Boston Cream. Uh, it's going to be an unaware versus unaware matchup. Uh, I thought I had Water Absorb on this Claude, but I actually don't. And now that it's going to start stacking Torch Songs, I'd rather just get my Toxic off and get rid of Skeledurge. Skeledurge, once it starts setting up, is very oppressive between the Slack off and the boosted Torch Songs. Uh, if it does Terra, it's also game over, <laughs> depending on the matchup. So I'd rather just wither this thing down with Poison. He misses the Will-O-Wisp, thankfully, but I'm not worried about that at all. Um, and now it's just going to be a slow and painful death for this crocodile. And I'm just going to hit it with the Earthquake, just in case they stay in. They opt to switch now into Meowskarada, which is a good play, because uh, they do want to keep that Skeleturge around, just in case. Uh, Earthquake is obviously going to do nothing. I, I could stay in here and just go for like a poison jab, but since I am a sun team, I'm just going to switch right here into Torkoal. I can also now rapid spin so I can get rid of these rocks, so rather do that sooner than later. And uh, it's going to be, I have I have the uh, the matchup here. This game is, uh, I'm pretty much pigeonholed my opponent. Uh, they go for the knockoff though, so that's not necessarily good. I can't keep my sun up uh, for as long as I want, but I'll just have to maximize the turns that I have. Honestly, I'm just going to Rapid Spin here. If I have to bring in Torkoal again, I don't want to keep taking Stealth Rock damage. Uh, he's going to go for the knockoff again. Maybe he's Choice Banded. Could be. I don't really see that set anymore on Uh Big possibility, but now I'm just going to go for the Lava Bloom. Might as well. Uh, as they go for Flower Trick, so they were probably just thinking that I would switch just to get the sun up, and then we're trying to knock off the next thing I would switch into. I don't know, but either way, Torkoal eats that up as expected. I go for the Lava Plume, and that is a free kill right there. Meowskarada can definitely be threatening. Uh, it's just super fast, and then Flower Trick always critting. Um, but I, I don't think it was... I think it was Overgrow, which is another strat that I don't see much anymore either. Regardless, they are going to switch now to Skeleturge. As a Torkoal, I cannot do anything else to the Skeleturge. It's already poisoned, so I can't go for Yawn. Lava Plume is not going to do crap to it, so I decide to go into Walking Wake here as they go for Torch Song, and quite honestly, this is pretty much game. Uh, if I lock myself into Hydro Steam, that Brute Bonnet's going to eat it up, so um, I could either go for Boosted Flamethrowers, which would just prolong this the inevitable, uh, so I'll just gonna go for a Dragon Pulse here, and that should be it. <laughs> uh, this was a really, really fun match. Uh, found my opponent in a discord uh it was a very very well-rounded team i just think that the terra on that uh quick wave will definitely kind of did them in because i don't think they were expecting blossom to to survive the aqua step there uh anyway gonna go for the dragon pulse and brute bonnet eats it up i've always said it from the beginning brute bonnet is absolutely freaking terrifying um don't sleep on brute bonnet it may have dropped in usage quite a bit but it's, it's still really, really good, uh, if, if used correctly. Uh, it's going to take three hits to take out this thing as it goes for Crunch, and that's a ton of damage to lower my defense. They can just go for Sucker Punch here to finish me up. Yep, they do. That's it. Uh, I would have loved to see the Terrestrialization on Brute Bonnet, because once that thing gets going, it's really, really hard to stop. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go now into uh, Great Tusk, my OK Tusk. And uh, I'm just going to finish it off with Ice Spinner. It's only Skeleturge now, and that's pretty much going to be the game here. They're actually going to DC, which, I mean, at this point the game's over. So, good game to them. They had a really, really good team. 
I loved using my team. Uh, it turns out that you can make not so great Pokemon work in the right settings. Uh, Blossom is just great under the sun. Unfortunately, it's just kind of uh, overshadowed by other mods like Venusaur. Uh, but we will be back with another video showcasing another Pokemon that does not get a whole lot of love. I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.